okay, well, that's interesting. We've, we're unlocking bonus stuff as we go along. Yeah, let's just continue where we left off. Looking for any signs of life, she begins her search of the station for survivors. Which we'll find maybe four. Oh, might be items in here. Didn't even think about that. Um, is there an item box? Yes. <sighs> eh, I think it's safe to go ahead and put up some of this stuff. Oh, I actually kept that key from... Okay, uh, maybe they don't give us the option to automatically discard items when they're out of use. I mean, I have more use later, but... Find two of these to create handgun ammo, so we got gunpowder. Like we did in RE3, that's cool. Huh, that's just weird. I don't think I've ever seen that kind of design on a something right here. Wooden boards. <laughs> Perfect for keeping the riffraff out. Okay, I have a feeling that's basically, it's not going to be essential, but it has maybe the same function as the, as the power cord in the original game. Saves you the headache of dealing with a few extra zombies. Yeah, I'm going for it. Oh, it wasn't my bullet that actually broke the window. It was... The zombie who got pissed off enough after I shot oh no. at him. Hit <laughs> Claire just now. Oh no. What the hell is up with you? Okay, um, how do you, oh, he's totally faking dead. Okay, I got the <laughs> knife drawn. I just want to see if this does any good. There is no way. He fell on his own. <laughs> Oh, here's another one. I was wondering if that was the... Son of a bitch! I was wondering if that was the zombie on the ground. <laughs> Who was making that sound. It was like, oh yeah, turns out he was faking dead. But it was this guy. <laughs> oh good, they kinda let you know what your health is as you're being attacked. Okay, so I just saw that... So you can use that as a recurring defense item? Like in uh, RE1 Remake? Okay, well, this probably wasn't a smart idea now that I think about it. But still, I was thinking, you know, that it was it was going to be good for a jump scare if I if I if I just walk past it and let the zombie go. 
There's a cop, unfortunately, dead. Now, this is interesting. Here is a shutter where normally there would be a wall. I wonder where this leads to. How do we bring up the map here? Oh, okay. That goes back to the main hall. Which is definitely strange. I guess it goes to show you, I really don't have... I mean, I can remember... I can definitely remember the rooms of the police station and the mansion. I've played through these games so many times, but... I guess I never thought about how they connect to one another. Because I would have thought normally that over here... That would actually lead to the outside, that that would be the far western edge of the building, instead of going back in upon itself to the main hall. And here is Barrier of Steam. I hope there's got to be an important item back there, but for now... Whoa! Oops, I... Observed that item again by accident while I was. Okay, I'm running into a lot of. Grenade launcher! I'm sure that will be coming soon. Running into a lot of puzzles that I cannot. cannot deal with yet. There's definitely a lot of new. a lot of new stuff in this game. Okay, so portable safe instructions. How does this work? Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all up to open the safe. Buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order can cause all the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence over again. Uh, actually, I don't think I read all that I pressed the wrong button to go out of it. Uh, well, I guess I got the gist of it. I was just going to examine this without actually trying to solve it to see if there's I wanted to read the rest of that document on how to do this first. Okay, so I guess I can go by trial and error here. Whoops. This one? No. Yeah, I'm feeling big time here, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I could swear I've done that one already. That was one of the first things I tried to get the, uh... Fourth light to it. Oop. Oh, wait a minute. This one can go next, and then... No. Got that wrong. Well, it's nice that you can start in, at any... Uh... 
That's it. Okay, and then uh, I keep getting that wrong. Hmm. Okay. Was it this one? Yes. Then this one. There, finally. <laughs> I got the achievement of Vault Like Mind. Small part of some sort to, you know, something. Oh, okay, a keypad button for a terminal of some sort. I wonder if that was necessary then. Okay, good thing that guy's not waking up. Eh, it's full. You know what? I'm on yellow caution, so let's just go ahead and use up a healing item. And then we'll free room to create a full healing here. Well, huh. The way forward is blocked off, which would normally be into the room where the, um, the statue holding a uh, ruby is. And there is another floor. A third floor. Let's check it out. wall there. Oh, there's another rotating lock, whatever you call those things. And it looks like we finally got the spade key. Sweet. What was that? That? This might be where we decided to introduce the liquor in this version. I'm just assuming that it didn't really sound like it, but it appeared to be a shadow going across the window here. Looks like so many areas of the station are being like renovated. I mean, I can understand all the all the areas that were walled off with a bunch of junk. Obviously, that was to prevent that was when uh, whatever survivors were here were holding out against the attack. But okay, I was thinking I could break that crate, but this doesn't seem like the appropriate game for that. Okay, well it says I can. Get 14 bullets off of that. Not bad, seemingly. I'll leave that there for now in case there's another key item I need. I'll just try to remember it, that it's there. This is definitely interesting. I don't know, maybe, um, maybe the story here is that they were just now... Sweet. More inventory space. Maybe the story is that they were actually just now adding a third floor to the entire building shortly before the outbreak, so it never got done. Never got finished. Uh, and I have a little fun of my own as the world goes to hell. God, who's writing this? You know, considering he's calling somebody else a raving loon. Kettle meat pot. Uh, 
I assume he's talking about Brian Irons, so it's not Irons writing this. Maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me? You're okay, there's another cop writing this. Yeah, whoever that is. Hope that's not going to end up being like some kind of key character, right? so I got to end up dealing with both Irons and this psychopath. This new character. Alright, let's go through here. Ah! Third floor of the library. What's that down there? Is that a pilot jack? Or whatever they call that thing where Claire, it's a... Oh. It's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Oh, Marvin's calling that? for me. I've got something to show you. It's important. Alright, I'm on my way. You know, Marvin was probably totally not expecting Claire to reply back. He's, he's thinking, yeah, chances are she's dead. Just by wandering off into some... Uh, this one saw me, so he's coming up the stairs, I guess. Or not. Seriously? Let's just take care of him. I don't know, what is it with, like, the gore effects Damn on the faces it. of the zombies as I'm shooting them? It's like I'm blowing off skin, but I, I'm not actually creating, like, puncture wounds. <laughs> but more like I'm just blowing off bits of flesh. Like I've, like I've been skinning them with a knife. Instead of actually... Oh, no. Okay, you done? Is any zombie behind me? No. Oh, okay. Well, far be it for me to trample on a man's grave, but two dead cops down here? You guys suck if you couldn't handle two zombies. Oh. Uh, another knife. In case I lost the first one? Maybe you can't pull the knife out if you don't finish off the zombie with guns. Like after you use it as a defense. Or maybe they have a limited number of uses before you're just unable to retrieve it from the from the enemy. Yeah, this thing right here was used to uh To boost up pa uh, wooden pallets and stuff. I kind of familiar with that in my line of work, and I don't use it myself exclusively. But uh, okay, hold on to it, and nothing's happening. Jesus. <laughs> Of a bitch. They really give no indication as to, at least no pattern I can see so far, any signs that they're actually falling. Or whether... <laughs> oh, nope, still not dead. Don't need no stinking gun. I don't know, that sounds more like an achievement where if I've, you know, actually gone through the entire game using a knife only. Okay, so... That one's not happening yet. There's a part I'm missing, the handle. done this at least ten times what before so far in this game. Uh, 
Okay. No. It sounded like a killing blow screen, but. That, did I take off his arm? Well, I guess that will definitely keep you on your toes. Part of the tension, because I've yet to be able to distinguish what would constitute a fatal wound or the sound or motion that a zombie makes when I've inflicted it. Okay, Marvin said get back, so. What? Wait. What room is this? Where am I? Okay, no, there was not a second page on the portable safe instructions, like I was trying to see earlier. Just says the lounge. For some reason, I can't get a bearing down on if this is a new room or if it's a... Okay, well, this is, uh, right before the hallway leading to the star's office, so this must be where you encounter Sherry if you're doing, uh, Claire A, Leon B. Or no, I'm sorry, uh, Leon A, Claire B, actually. This is where Leon first chases Sherry into, a. Uh... Well, it's definitely different. And this door is blocked. Crap. Well, let's see if I can go back out here into the main hall. Uh, did I not take the key with me when I found it? Okay, did I somehow just press the wrong button and end up putting the key back down without realizing it? Well, crap, let's go back for it. Yeah, the, those are two knives. Neither of them is the key, so... Okay, I believe it was... Back down on the second floor. Oh, just went right back around to the library. I think it was back down on the second floor just before the stairs, and there was also like a. It was a broken water heater or something that was pushing out steam. Oh, let's see this. Any survivors? Consider this a gift for anyone still fortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy bastards. Looks like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for that. As long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns a blazing, you should be able to slip right by them. Probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing that was written by David Ford, the cop. I've got a friend to avenge. I wonder what he's talking about there. I don't recall if that was any minor point made in uh, the RE2 documents, because that's the only... I don't think this guy ever has shown up in person in an RE game, not that I recall anyway, it was pretty much just documents. Yep, sure enough. Never actually picked it up. Well, at least I remembered where it was and I didn't go wasting a whole bunch of time running around looking for it. Oh, 
up. What's this? Red book. Let's see if they're gonna give us a throw back by enabling you to open it. Oh, no, it's a piece of plastic shaped like a book. Looks like it was being held by a hand at some point. I said Marvin's still alive. There you are. Come here. Good lord, Claire. It? He sounds Take like he's look. in so much pain. Oh, Give him I an herb that it. you found. You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Oh, my God. The rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. The second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Again, it, it's kind of nice that Claire looks more her age and kind of has uh, more of a... I really don't know how to describe this expression all of a sudden. I can't find the words for it, but it's so... I don't know, kind of like head in the clouds, but it seems appropriate. Somehow more real for this situation. I, I don't know. Okay, well, there might have been the door leading forward. Yeah, it was a spade door, so. Now, was that actually saying, like, Leon just now made it to the station? From the other side? That's interesting. I don't know, maybe maybe it's on his side if, if we do, like, an A-B scenario in this instead of just... Playing the entire game over from, you know, using another another character, but it's like basically the same game. I guess on the B side, if that exists, that it's actually the um, it's actually the B person who makes the long has to make the long journey to the station instead of it being just a block away. Kind of the opposite of what we had in the original game. Okay, I guess that is for a crank. Yes. Judging by the symbol on the... wonder if a liquor is going to come bursting through that window. The red stone. So they're going to accompany a key item with like some kind of local legend? I mean, not really necessary. For devilry lies in beauty's shadow. The jewel has turned, carrying nobles who loved their subjects into dis... You know, I actually don't know how to pronounce that word. More terrible than Caligula, though. <laughs> and we have tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. Like bloodlust. Oh, cool. So, um, I don't know if I find a part of the statue with other arm already holding a ruby. Yep, there's the arm. And then insert the ruby and scepter into it, which I guess are separate items. Or maybe that's just the scepter. And the red part is just... I don't know. Either way... I think I get basically what I gotta do there, so... Just, again, feel the urge to, you know, that that's like some kind of breakable box. <laughs> Sorry. 
Well, the arm is right there, so... I can leave it there without any worry about forgetting it. Okay, this is a way to the helipad, and I'm guessing, um... Yeah. Did Leon witness it? Curious. Hey! Claire? Yeah, there he is. Leon! I'll be right there! Really? Leon, we really gotta stop meeting like this. Are you alright? Is, is she flirting with him? Came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm fine. I take it you don't have the key. No. Crap. You don't. It's good to see your face, though. How are you holding up? I am hanging in there. Hell of a night, huh? Yeah. You find your brother? I did, actually. He's. Uh, no, you didn't. I haven't even been to the star's Just office yet to, to see. Leon, you should get going. Yeah, you know. Don't worry about me. Just get out in the open seat. like this. I'm gonna get pretty much hurt. No, Leon, seriously, they're getting through the fence. Please, just go. Go where? We're gonna make it. Both of us. And I like how he's not keeping an eye on the zombie that was like five feet away, Marvin, you know, behind him. This is bad. I've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Uh oh. Marvin? I guess Marvin has finally succumbed. That sucks. I mean, we knew it was gonna happen, though. Eventually. Wait, no. no, instead, I just ran to a flaming zombie instead of the wreckage. Alright, I think I've got enough bullets to kind of take out these guys. I mean, I'm going to have to come back here eventually, right? So, I don't think I'm totally wasting it. You know, aiming for the head, really missing a lot. I don't know if it's worth it. Alright, let's try to knife out the rest of his health. Oh, did I, did I actually take out both of his feet? Where'd they go? Oh. This one's crawling now. Well, I'm curious to see his... Well, okay. There he goes. I was curious to see if I, uh... have one who's crawling attack if we do a automatic kill with a head stomp or something like in... you know, classic games. Okay, here's the wreckage. Can I shut this thing off? Guess not. I think we'll leave that behind for now. Uh, Might actually be more important to grab this item down here. That might have actually been a pair of bolt cutters. It was. So, how give me access here? Huh. Is it not a 
here in the same location and have a sink in it. Okay, good. Okay, good. There's a headshot. Um... Oh, well. That's where I met the first victim. Let's take a look at the map and see if that's probably no place I've been actually intended to go, so... Chain door. Okay, so I guess we can cut through... This is the office I was thinking about in the original game where I come in through from the fire escape. Oh, I, mean, I was looking at the wrong room. This was the door. This was the uh, fire escape door. So I guess I will eventually go into this room. Oh, hi. What the hell is up with you? You know, it kind of sucks that there's only five bullets in the. <laughs> In one round. Oh. Son of a bitch. Okay, he's out. It's nice to actually be able to swing a knife rapidly for once in this in these games. Ah, here we are. I don't know, maybe, um... Maybe it's meant that unless you take initiative, they will crash the window, and we're just meant to use these boards on all of them anyway, just wherever a zombie is actually pounding a window. That's one that you're likely going to have to break and then board up. Yep. And I like how that zombie was just standing there the whole time, like, just looking at my flashlight. Wasn't sure if I was a human. Oh. Okay, cool. I do believe I remember where that goes. Can't actually pick it up right now, though. Oh, bad idea. They got me surrounded. Well, now I'm starting to run out of bullets. I like how he's kind of reaching out for me. What the hell is up with you? Shit. Okay, Claire, I get it. You're not Moira. Let's not try to be Moira. No, I have an LP to uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2, but yeah, you play as a uh, Barry's daughter Moira, and that and her character was obnoxious. She had this tough talking, angsty teen thing going, but took it way too far. Okay, making sure he was down. Looks like gunpowder. Oh, okay. I can go ahead and pick that up. And, you know, instead of doing that, though, I should have gone ahead and picked up the key item here. Crap. Eh, you know what? Screw it. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay, they were just 
I was like, surely she's... This isn't going to be some barricade that Claire can't get across, you know, like in classic RE games. Well, a lot of games really do that kind of thing where you're like, you know, after everything I've seen you manage to do already, sometimes downright incredible feats of strength and... You can't clear this obstacle just a bit of wreckage or, you know, try to climb over a wall. Huh. The zombie's not following me into here? Well, just in case. Let's close it. I'm sure I can't close it. Okay, that sucks. Well, I am in no position to fight Marvin if he's a zombie because I am now out of ammo. Nevertheless, well, let's say first. Let's find out what's going to happen here. Okay, I gotta hurry. Oh, he's so weak now he can't even respond. But he's not a zombie yet. So this is Marvin's office. Or at least I always assume... Wait, is this a piano? No, it's one of those shutter desks. Oh, so this is about Leon. Putting you on a... Ah, <laughs> uh, cute. It kind of adds to the atmosphere, I guess. But that's nice. Putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first name. <laughs> I don't know, is this supposed to be like new guy hazing from his fellow cops, or is this just their idea of having fun and what, you know, making him feel welcome on his first day? Input the letters in order of our desk. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Oh, and that was actually Marvin's room with Leon here. Well, I imagine Scott's a zombie now, and the only way I will get any answers out of it. Scrawled in the corner between drops of blood. What's this? Be glad you're not here. Oh, no. he wrote that later. Yeah, but she knew he was coming, right? Okay, well there's David says. Is this really, um... This is the size of the workspace that each of the cops have? Oh, hey, Rita! I remember her from Outbreak number two. Oh, hi. Oh, that's right, I lost my knife. Crap. I think I forgot to pick it back up off of the zombie. That's not good. Oh, uses a gunpowder. That'll be nice to what we got here. High grade gunpowder white. <sighs> if I hadn't discarded that other one. Oh, here's a way back out to uh what we got here. Yeah.
Okay, that leads to the staircase. It's definitely weird having all these rooms right here. Not really any doors separating them, but just kind of one big room. Alright, records room, I do believe that was a spade door. So let's check that out. Oh, is this a safety deposit room? Looks like I can get a um, very short barreled shotgun. Or is that what they call a pistol? Ah, uh, yeah. That one. That one I left up in the room with the ruby statue. Okay, um. Yeah, let's just go around the other side. That door is blocked off. Other way. Except there's a zombie there and some wreckage and here too. But got some bullets. Now I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take it. Well, right quick. I don't remember if I happened to leave anything. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Well, don't have an herb, so. You know, I could swear I healed up fully. I've only taken one hit since then. It automatically brought me back down to caution. Yeesh. <laughs> That could be difficult. Okay, nothing there. Well, actually, you know, let's go ahead and take this and examine it. Maybe that'll give me a hint as to whether I'm even going to need to use it again. Key to the gas station stores room. Yeah, that was way back at the gas station now, I remember. Which I'm pretty sure we're not going back there for anything. Oh, followed me a long way. Uh, who knows, maybe that was Officer Rita Phillips right there. Shame. I liked her character in Outbreak. Okay, I wonder if I can actually see, like, crash the no. Maybe, like, crash through the door and make her stumble back and slip past. Okay, well, since I got at least, like, four or five zombies down that... Back down the other way, I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way around back to, uh... I like how Claire's kind of stumbling as she runs a little bit, like, she's sort of feeling woozy from from the wound, I guess, being on caution, that's... I guess is maybe they've also made liquors a lot tougher in this game as opposed to last time, because I figure they would have been introduced by now. But I guess they're really going to wait for... Can I not skip around those? Okay. <sighs> yeah, I don't have the handle to that yet.
<laughs> I thought that was an herb, my bad. <laughs> That's just like probably a plastic fern. Okay, yeah, I was uh, I was saying let's uh, get back around to the statue room here and pick up the this thing, key card. Get back down to the weapons locker and hopefully unlock that shotgun. I kind of think Claire's really kind of milking it <laughs> with the well you know I should probably actually approach from the bottom bottom floor <clears throat> anything over in this corner I didn't really look at that no okay And also, there's still the records room to look into. Oh, uh, can I go ahead and board this up? Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, that was a club door crap. A lot of broken windows here. We can, however, use bolt cutters to see what's behind this door. Locker room. C-A-P. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Flash grenade. Guaranteed to daze and stun enemies within its effective radius. Can't pick it up though. Okay, so that unlocked that door back into the hall. Okay, none of you see me yet. Let's keep it that way. Just make a room for it. Okay, finally. Then I can pick up the herb, use it, and I'll send a flash grenade back in the other room. Well, no, because then I kind of need <laughs> this weapon. Oh, this is a grenade launcher that can be held in one hand, apparently. Yeah, that that actually does look quite portable for a grenade launcher. So we use acid and flame rounds with this. I guess there's no regular rounds or anything. Alright. So, uh, how do you open these doors? Dang, there's another, um, side pack, too. <laughs> there, that'd be nice. Ah! Maybe the buttons go in here to where I can actually use them to... I guess I can use it to replace the the number two button or the three. So let's see which ones are actually locked. Okay, so there is 106. I can unlock that. 109. I can lock that without any trouble. Okay, well there's going to be uses of both the two and the three buttons, so. 
Okay, I was I was thinking for a second there because I remembered seeing 208 right here. That was the only thing I remembered seeing. That if you put in the number three slot, that actually wasn't going to give you access to any lockers that had items in it. It's like the game was tricking you. I mean, I could see that happening. Okay. 208. That will give us more grenade rounds. Awesome. Unfortunately, I need both the two and the three in order to get the side pack. Well, it's nice that uh, the zombie didn't chase me into here. Ah, also, bullets. For the handgun, and I don't know what that is, but it looks interesting. There's another knife. And maybe that's gunpowder right there. Actually, that looks like high-grade gunpowder. So if I have any... Yeah. Uh... Is this high-grade or regular? Nope, regular. But... I can get handgun bullets, so... Might enable me to kill off a couple more zombies. That's always good. Well, 106 and 109. Looks like those are the last ones I can get here. film. Okay. Uh, right quick, let's... Okay, yeah. Making sure that wasn't going to take up another item slot, like you can only hold so many handgun bullets. I don't know if I had the means to develop it right away, but I guess we'll find out whenever I get back down to the first floor save room. Uh, all the zombies leave? Was that a zombie that I killed? And there's two zombies right here just sort of having a face off. Well, let's see what this uh, flame launcher can do. Well, it didn't quite finish off this guy. Really? Yellow caution. I'm okay, I guess. Oh, a door locked with the heart. So I can use either the club key or the heart key, I guess, to get into the records room. Anyway, I believe there was a flash grenade I left in here and a regular herb, so... And now I have no room for it. Crap. Oh. Okay, in the locker room cap. I don't know if I've come across that. That's obviously for one of those um, electronic gadgets. What, what's that? <clears throat> Whoa! 
Not good. Not good. Well, nice death animation. Okay, I thought it was still yellow caution. Obviously, it was lower end of it. So. Alright, guys, now, don't remember quite how far back this was, so I'll just, uh. I'll just start the next video whenever I catch back up to the point where I left off. Alright, thanks for watching.